The lead tug is the Nicole Foss. The Nicole Foss is one of the Foss sister class Arctic tugs. Named after the daughters of Saltchuk founder, Mike Garvey, the Nicole, Denise and Michelle tugs are among the most powerful in the Foss fleet. Rated horsepower at 7,268 with a bollard pull of 110 tons, these ocean towing tugs are capable of towing large vessels around the world. The Harry Lynn Martin was built in 1979 at the Four River Shipyard in Quincy, Massachusetts. On August 1, 1986, the Pacific Direct Line-owned car carrier MV Lelewitt entered Sydney Harbor. In 1988, the ship was sold to company General Maritime and renamed Rabelais. In 1993, Norwegian America Line acquired the ship and was renamed Nosak Cedar until 1994. In 1994, the ship was acquired by the Wilhelmsen Holdings Group and renamed Turago. In 1995, the ship was purchased by the Military Sealift Command and was put into the prepositioning program and the Maritime Prepositioning Ship Squadron 3 on April 20, 2000. The ship operated in the Pacific Ocean, out of Saipan and Guam. The retired Navy ship is the Harry Lynn Martin. Harry Lynn Martin was a member of the Ohio National Guard and graduated from Bucyrus High School and from Michigan State College in East Lansing, Michigan, where he majored in business administration. At State, he was on the football and wrestling teams and did some boxing and skiing. He was a member of Sigma Alpha fraternity and served two years in the cavalry unit of the ROTC. Following graduation in 1936, he worked in Honolulu, Hawaii, as an office manager for the Hawaiian Construction Tunnel Company. On August 25, 1943, he was commissioned a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps Reserve. Following schooling at Quantico, Virginia, Martin completed the engineer school at New River, North Carolina, and was designated an engineer officer on March 13, 1944. Assigned to 2nd Battalion, 16th Marines, Engineer Regiment of the 5th Marine Division, he joined Company C when the designation of the battalion was changed to 5th Pioneer Battalion. 2nd Lieutenant Martin went overseas with his unit in the summer of 1944 and went into training at Hawaii. On February 19, 1945, he landed on Iwo Jima in the Volcano Islands and before the day ended he had already sustained a slight wound. He was promoted to 1st Lieutenant on March 1, 1945, 25 days before his death. A few minutes before dawn on the morning of March 26, the day the Iwo campaign officially closed, the Japanese launched a concentrated attack and penetrated the marine lines in the area where 1st Lieutenant Martin's platoon was bivouacked. He immediately organized a firing line among the men in the foxholes closest to his own, and temporarily stopped the headlong rush of the enemy. Several of his men were lying wounded in positions overrun by the enemy and the lieutenant was determined to rescue them. In the action which followed, he was severely wounded twice but continued to resist the enemy until he fell mortally wounded by a grenade. The Medal of Honor and Citation were presented to his parents by Secretary of the Navy James Forrestal at a ceremony in the Navy Department on May 6, 1946. First Lieutenant Martin was buried in the 5th Division Cemetery at Iwo Jima. At the request of his mother, his remains were returned to Ohio in 1948 for private burial in Oakwood Cemetery in Bucyrus, Ohio. The assist tugs on the stern of the Harry Lynn Martin are the Signet Magic and the Signet Defender. The Magic and Defender are stationed full-time at the port of Brownsville.